Hello everybody, Sly Starcraft here with another audio commentary and I have to say I'm very excited right now because through the help of Moises and uh, Bjorn aka Giblet, which he is calling himself now, I was able to procure a BlizzCon ticket. So I'm going to be going to BlizzCon 2010 in October and I just want to thank everybody who sent me donations because uh, with those donations you allowed me to be able to purchase that ticket without uh, you know breaking my back with the expense of it, $250 and then, you know, travel time and if I get a hotel and all that stuff, but all of you guys are definitely helping out with that and I want to thank every single person who donated to uh, help me achieve that. <clears throat> but uh, this is going to be on Metalopolis. It is one of my older replays again, but because uh, I am able to play replays now, I can do my own games. So here we go. It's going to be Psy in the right side as the Zerg player, Red Zerg, against Zelnik, the blue Zerg on the left side on Metalopolis once again. And also, oh, I want to thank G-Parent as well. He's been pretty active on my channel and in my, uh, uh, in my comment sections of all my videos. Him and I were up late last night trying to figure out the best way to compress a video. And that guy is crazy. He's giving me all kinds of like whacked out code and telling me to do stuff. He's a computer science major and uh, he taught me a lot about what, what compressing really is or encoding rather and uh, I have a feeling I'm going to find a good way to, to do it just pretty soon here so bear with me. When I uploaded my last video it wasn't choppy. It wasn't all grainy like that until I uploaded it so I think YouTube might have done some extra compression on their side which made it uh, come out like that so wasn't too happy about that once I actually saw it. I could totally understand why you guys didn't really like it. But I'm going to find a good way to compress it and hopefully bring you some real 1080 uh, games. So here we go. Looks like I went with a... I wasn't even paying attention, but my pool is quite a bit faster than his. Maybe it was a 10 pool. Yeah, it must have been a 10 pool because I have 10 drones right now. So yeah, it looks like I'm going 10 pool opening. I scouted this direction so I know he's not there and I actually drone scouted down here so I'm going to be sending my links to the proper position albeit it is a cross map so that's going to be tough and he is panicking never want to do this as a zerg player you do not need two spines to beat a 10 pool in a cross position map when you go a 14 pool which is what he did you just need to uh, get those zerg zerglings out early see look at that two zerglings already with those drones would be just enough you know, he's losing a lot more than he needs to, I believe. Now we're even on Harvesters 13 to 13. Ling still in there, stopping a lot of mining time. There goes another drone. So everything's getting beat up as well. I'm now ahead just because of these two spine crawlers, which didn't do anything at all. All he needed was to save up some larvae once he saw those Lings coming. Pump, you know, four, maybe six slings, and then stack all your drones on a single mineral, and that makes them very effective against Zerglings just because you can't really focus fire very well. And you've seen the stacking trick quite a bit, I'm sure, in other games whenever there's harassment in the mineral lines. So that was pretty successful there. Okay, sorry about that. I had to stop the game for a second. Someone came in. Um, as I was saying, that was a pretty successful Zergling attack, and uh, now I am putting down a Roach War and a pretty standard follow-up in Zerg on Zerg. I think this was before... No, this was after the two food Roach nerf, but I still feel after that initial rush and him being slowed down that he wouldn't be going banelings, especially on cross position like this. So I decided to go for the Roaches and see if I can pull out a win with the Roach play. Still a little bit ahead in Harvester count and still using my three Zerglings that I had in here before as a scouting mechanism. So pretty cool. He's got some nicely placed spines. You know, if he did make those spines, but might as well place them in the ideal spots. And he's got one on the outskirts, poking away at these Zerglings, and one in his mineral line. And here I am, sacrificing my links to see his lair, doing a little bit of scouting. And you know what that means. Lair means mutas. So there is my evolution chamber. I'm going to prepare for mutas with some spore crawlers. And, uh, you know, I'm in great position right now because mutas is kind of a... Um, I'm I'm gonna win unless you scout me strategy so I scouted him with plenty of time his lair was only about uh, three-fifths of the way done so I'm gonna have an evo chamber and I'm gonna lag a little bit apparently Jesus Christ lag a little bit there and I'm gonna put down an evo chamber and I'm gonna have spores at least two in each base especially once my expansion gets up once I'm able to guard this once I'm able to guard this with spores and I have enough roaches just in case he does mask quite a few lings I'm going to be in great position. He is not expanding because I have this overlord here. And I will be able to see if he expands. Holy crap, what the heck is going on out there? Freaking crazies. 
Jesus. I'm trying to do my commentary here. Man, I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but that was really loud. Roaches. A little bit of a failed attempt at a blocked ramp, but not too worried about this right now. Overlord getting a little bit too eager. Oh, you're going to die, dude. Blech. Getting a little bit eager there, 100 minerals down the drain, but I am now putting up some spores in my base here. It looks like I'm getting one at my expansion, there's one at my main. There seems to always be a good little nook that you can tuck your spores into. In this situation, it was right in between these two mineral patches because it doesn't interfere with the harvest harvesting at all. And in this situation, there isn't the best one, um, so I just kind of pushed it next to the hatchery. There's no real opening near these minerals at all, so... Not the best placement on this spore. It might block the drone going to this mineral patch, but I'd rather have a good spore placement than just get a little bit more efficient drone mining there. So not too worried about that. He's now positioning his spines outside of his expansion, and he's actually, whoa, there's an IM. He's actually winning on harvester count too. So I don't know why my drone count is so low here. Hmm. First muta's on their way. Whoa, that's a lot of spines. So using up a lot of drones on his spine crawlers, he was actually uh, pretty far economically ahead. But with those spines, he's back to even here. And it looks like I'm spending some on hydras. I don't know where all my drones are going, to be honest. I've got nine on gas, so maybe that's why. I'm pretty short on minerals right now. Should probably only have six on gas because my drone count isn't too high. And these mutas are going to come in. I've got three hydras, a spore, and a queen. Am I getting any more queens? No, it looks like I'm just going to stick with these Hydras to try to deal with these Mutas. And he's got an expansion as well, so this game is surprisingly even. I've got my... I think my tech is a little bit better than his, though. Hydras will kind of outplay Mutas as long as you have protection in your base in the form of Spores and Queens. So, still ahead by four Harvesters. And if we look at the gas count, I am running off three gas compared to his two gas. He might even only have two on one of these. Nope, he's got, he's got three on it. Trying to dink around, do a little bit of harassment with the mutas, but I've got this protected and this protected. The only opening that I can see is right back here. He could probably pick off my extractors, but he might not be able to do enough damage before my hydras get in there. They do have that range upgrade already, and I've even got plus one on their attack, so he's going to be sticking with the muta tech here. Now choosing to get a baneling nest. Going to try to snipe my hydras. That would be kind of cool if he's able to do that send in those banelings while my hydras are focusing down his mutalisks. There we go, that's the drone count I like to